Pickles. That's a dope beat. That's a dope beat. That sounds cool. I kind of like want to play the intro again to let it play. That's, 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 yeah, roll it again, dude. Roll the intro again. Roll it. Best part about this is so far. This is about the whole intro. I mean, because that song was, that was a good song. Best part of this intro is how the people chat thought that was you dancing. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty dope. They, wait, wait. They thought that was Mass dancing in the video. Did yeah. Mass did, you know, did Mass get like vitiligo? <laughs> uh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, for for a song that didn't have like any like like dirty beat in the background, that no, was yeah. Awesome. Yeah, where's the, the? There's no Spanish fluff coming out of that crown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That too. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to tonight's Plumes of Hazard. I'm Mass Blast09, and here are my co-host Fubaka. Hi. E Angstful Schlankler Vapor Shalanka. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to a um let's see. Uh what was this past week was I'm gonna make up a word, termulus. Uh past week. <laughs> That's it's Romulus. That's a Romulus. Termulus. <laughs> termulus. It's Romulus. It's That's when you mix it's when you mix turbulence with amulets. Termulets. And so timbre lamps. <laughs> yeah, there were some timbre lamps with needed. Amulets? Man. Yeah, so, I don't fucking know angsty with angsty. <laughs> that's what I'm I said I was making up the fucking word. Fucking Merriam Webster dictionary is fucking one you need. No. I, I didn't know if there was something I missed. I, maybe there was something I missed. Uh, yeah, no. You had to get on a list for that vow. Don't ever don't ever don't ever make words in front of angsty. He's gonna be like, Well, what's a dictionary? How can you use it in a sentence? Fucking spell the shit out. Oh man, are you done? Master's like, am I the only one that doesn't follow the grammatical rules around here? <laughs> English as a second language, bitch. <laughs> I suppose. Well, when you make a uh, um, oh lord, that's English. Uh, what the name let's, of that? Let's just bring our guest in because this this yeah, needs that's a good idea. Here. <clears throat> Before we get too far into that show, show and broadcast. <clears throat> Oh, hello. Hello. Hey, senor from uh, Benjamin Moore. Que paso? And this, and this is our uh, our guest, 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 uh, coming all the way to you from. He does not have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Project twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe him. you can maybe you can riddle me this there, Batman over there. When you oh, here we go with another riddle. Portmanteau, which I'm a big fan of, by the way. I love Portmanteau. 
If you squish up two words, usually both words make you know, there's some reason. I just thought the amulet thing was weird. I didn't. I was just asking. It made about. perfect sense to me. It's an amulet. <laughs> yeah. so just easy. eat it. Just eat it and go. Yeah. Ten minutes. <laughs> but for those wondering, turmulent. Biggles were turmulent. Biggles were. <laughs> it was a turmulent week. <laughs> Hey, uh, embiggening your vocabulary is good. Oh, word. snap. There's there, there's a spider bro who is parachuting down in front of my monitor. Good. G.I. I don't think, think parachute. You mean repelling? It's, it's a, <laughs> Come on. We're, we're, we are technical night. We're okay? not making up we're words. Going to be, yeah, we're going to be by the book, by the ancestral book. Okay. Must blast say que el mexicano. No, que not, not, all, not all of us can live. And the perfect street name. So, dude, all, all I can say is White America. <laughs> parachuting, parachuting is a perfectly cromulent word. <laughs> Safest place during a race war, Anxious Street. <laughs> <laughs> or the worst place. What are you talking about? It really <laughs> depends on who Wait, you are. Depends on who you is. Wait, <laughs> race, oh, race war? I thought that Dominic, Dominic Toretto's car we want to be in. <laughs> oh, man. There goes. Ahmed with his non-weed jokes. Uh, Man, I turned off the whoa. fan here. That was a mistake. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, wait till you fart. No, thank you. Buddy. It's going to fucking cook in there. It does get hot in there. Got that yeah, sun in the afternoon. Just hot there's four of us dumbasses crammed in this room. <laughs> hey, so it's uh, it's Plumes of Hazards. Uh, sometimes we like to talk about vaping. Sometimes eh. we... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we just get muted. Faggot. Wow. What an amazing gift to have handy. Yep. That one came back the other week. Yes, it did. So, uh, so yeah. That's what we do. <clears throat> I um, <laughs> almost made a joke, but maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Finger banging bad picks in chat. Hi. Hang, hang on. Hang on. Uh, we got we got we got to uh, we got to we got to play the sound. Welcome, Mooch. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his own intro. You guys know this. As soon so as that in chat goes mooch 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 mooch. He gets his intro. Without Mooch, we'd probably have like negative viewers. So thanks for being Come <laughs> on, Mooch. I think, I think chat goes negative. It's those are people who had gone to the channel and when the show starts, they leave. It adds it as a negative. So they're like, oh, fuck this shit. I hope he hasn't had too hard of a time over the past few weeks. Oh, uh, who, Mooch? No. Yeah. You know, with the, fine. the confusion with uh, the other Mooch. Yeah, he's. Yeah, well, hey, what the fuck happened there? I don't know, but you I wouldn't want to be. You know, it was something about ambulance. Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. I would. It's, yeah. it's it's something about the fucking bill collectors calling. Yeah, That's serious, what it is. serious term turbulence. Ring ring, hello. Is this Mooch? Yes. Oh, you own five hundred dollar. What? No, I don't. <laughs> is is this E Leaf? <laughs> oh, you got the wrong number. <clears throat> Uh, there actually is something. There's a piece of my news that's actually kind of relevant to that. If you like to talk about yeah. it, yeah, yeah. Uh, let will. me let me just share this thing. Oh fuck! Oh, I don't want to do that. That's got <laughs> that's got my uh. No, let's not do that. That's got some card information on it. No, it just had all my Reddit stuff on it. <laughs> oh yeah, let's uh, not. Let's that's not be all, that's God. between God. me and God. That's between him and our white <laughs> power. Go ahead. <laughs> So look at this garbage. So the the Angor rabbit. Oh yeah, mountain. I saw this. Have we seen this? Yep. No. Uh, so they've God. got this uh, uh, Wu Tang thing from <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Wu Tang of Lion Eco Technology. <laughs> oh, they've got this Chinese shit. cotton, and they're like, okay, we've got this cool cotton or whatever. But fuck, I gotta find this picture. <laughs> Wu Tang Cotton is for the children. <laughs> we made name is people picking. You, you need to diversify your strands. <laughs> oh my god. Her name yeah. is Tina. Wait, her name is Tina Yang there, and it was Tina Wang on the other. Oh, what no, wait, really? Go back. It was. Go back. 
Wait, but hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That could be his transcription before we fly off the handle. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Anyway. In which case, what the hell, Mooch? <laughs> <laughs> Hit your wings right. So here's the, here's the thing. <laughs> Straighten your wing out. <laughs> yeah. This is this is what this this is, this is what their their own advertisement is saying. It's made of comb cotton production, which is the best cotton. It's not rayon or asbestos fibers. That's oh, yeah. If it was made of rayon, it would just mumble. I, I don't know. Can you grow asbestos fibers? Yeah. Potatoes don't grow there. Yeah, potatoes and don't grow. Rabbit. Can so we just talk about this? That is the thing that's funny. So, so Mooch goes on and said, hey, you know, maybe you should put the FDA thing on there. Uh, wait, wait, go up. Go back up for a second. <laughs> Notice how stark, strangely close that is to like the cotton bacon package. <laughs> oh, it's, it's exactly oh, the it's, okay. It's the exact same. same ex- wait, do I have do I have any bacon? And that stock photo of cotton gin on yes. oh, you know Google some, Images is amazing. Some, I'm pretty sure I've seen that hundred times. Yo, wow, they yeah. even use the same colors. Yeah, Dude, look at that. They probably come out of the same place. It's probably the exact same yeah. stuff. Probably or close enough. <sighs> totally true. Are there are there's so, called rabbit cotton bits or uh, carrot bits? Their sample sizes. Oh, this, this is this is my favorite exchange between a customer and a business that I've seen in a while. So Mooch says, "Hey, maybe maybe you should just put this thing on there. Uh, you know, which standards do you claim compliance with?" And this person immediately comes back and says, "You're not our customer. We have no reason to provide you." Boom. Wait, but, but wait, here's the best part. It gets our, FDA, our, our FDA, ROSH, FCCIA, FBI, and ISO certification is not casual. It's not casual. It's it's, not ma- casual. it's master race. Believe that. <laughs> Believe that. <clears throat> so down here, she says, our products are also in line with our standards. You do the battery test. You don't understand cotton. <laughs> oh! Now I'm just a simple oh China God. country cotton grower. <laughs> but I don't come shit. to your big city yo, apartment yo, and tell Tina, you how yo, to look Tina, at batteries. Tina's a wow. sad down. <laughs> yo, she won't wow. take shit from the white She man. told Mooch to straighten his wang out. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't. I, <sighs> this whole thing is just. <laughs> It's He's talking to a wall. That's the unfortunate part, right? I mean, she's not gonna. So wait, Mooch just said in chat, "Mass, check out 3F Vapor Ango Rabbit Cotton. Not good." Can we just address Ango Rabbit Cotton? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's almost we're talking about like a- a- Angora rabbits, right? right. That's <laughs> so I mean, be that is as, as an Anglo person. Yeah, I Anglo rabbits. To this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Anglo look. rabbits. Ang- what well, right? So, okay, as weird as that is, just consider the, the thought of using. Angora rabbit fur. Yes. Vape off of it's it's hair. It's hair. It's well, hair. Fur. But hair. <laughs> it smells the same when it burns. It burns. <laughs> exactly. You ever fucking turn a rabbit into a fur? <laughs> Come no, on. Yeah. No, but no, but I did it in Skyrim. Wait, yeah, wait. That's true. <laughs> it gets it gets even better because look at look. <laughs> Look at the image that they're using for the fucking rabbit. You ready? Dun dun dun. Oh, no, I didn't know. <laughs> Crucifixions. <laughs> Look at it. No. Look at it. Look at it. We Wait, he's got, 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 got a cardigan on. on. Look, he's it's fucked it, 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 a it, cardigan. <laughs> Yo. Nah. What is what nah. is happening? Nah, that's not, no, that's not real life. Yeah, that's not even a good cardigan. It's not. It's got some like chest like back. Right. It's not. It's not food. <laughs> How hard is it to take a picture of an angora rabbit? It looks like a giant cotton ball. It would be perfect. How hard is that? You got to. Oh my. Or you just do bunny rabbit. Hang on. Hang on. There's bro- oh, okay. There, there's some. There's some. Right, look, 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 okay. Look, 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 there's little rabbit pellets. I thought there was a first sight. Oh no. <laughs> Flip yo. You, you find, you find you vape. <laughs> find you vape. Find you me vape. Find you me vape. Find you me vape. Don't oh, we all? Is that like a, is that like a vape date? Vape. Wow. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, hang on. Um, here is the back of the packaging. Uh, let's open that up. 
Let's uh, do a little zoom zoom. Caught on Angle Rabbit. It's extraordinary form of Reddit for vaping. Well, caught in a cat. What? Cotton carding? carding? What is that? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, carding carding is a thing on cotton making. Okay. And I don't know the cotton and lung fiber has been selected then through a proprietary purification process. Wow, that's a lot of peace. To remove impurities, natural oils and pesticides, 100%. Did they copy this from the cotton man? I think they might have. <laughs> Four vapors. Make up easy, wick fast, plenty of store up. <gasps> Born in the USA. <laughs> it was actually Born really USA. made in made in the USA. It totally says made in the USA. Huh? The USA. I wonder if the cotton wow. is grown in the United States. Uh, this guy was. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Hey, and and so you can get it for four dollars and fifty cents. There How you much go. you get? <clears throat> Not this much. You get... <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> he, was, he had this much. He, he, was, about, this he was about to high. You get, you get a tiger claws worth. <laughs> it doesn't even say. <laughs> <laughs> that's... that's yeah. uh, okay, so it says four, four grams in weight. Hey, Kyle, Kyle, is, uh, his, Kyle has a problem with the fact that he used a semicolon. That he should have used a comma. <laughs> Those pretentious Whoa. assholes. <laughs> it's, it's a super comma. <clears throat> Did you say four grams, Mast? Four, yeah, four grams. And the the bag size is three point nine by point three nine by two point three inches. He's got to sweep the cocaine off the scale and put some Excuse comma. Me. Yeah. Are we are we checking the the quantity? I'm yeah. weighing some cogan dough. <clears throat> well, I've got, a, uh, I've got a sample pack of. Uh, it's, Point Not point bits over here. Point one, two, one four three, ounce. Five pack five packs of Kogendo. Like five <clears throat> cards. Tell tell me again how many ounces it is, Masty? It is four grams or point one four ounces. Okay, so it's two of these. So it's, it's two of these. Yeah, really no. I mean, think about it. If it if it if it goes as far as a Kogan Doe pad goes, I accept that price. Four fifty five dollars. Yeah. In reality, people should be buying a big box of something because here's the, here's the problem with that. It's just economies bag. of scale. So here's a problem, at least with me using cotton bacon. I imagine this stuff is similar consistent to cotton bacon. You can't use cotton bacon as efficiently as you would Japanese pad. <clears throat> Correct. In my you know, in my experience. So, so then you're actually getting less. Did you say yeah, I don't think you're getting less, and I don't think it'll go Four? that far. Five. Maybe? Five. So yeah, five. basically, that is exact. That is like a dollar cheaper than a pack of actual good cotton. Yeah. This is these things run about five bucks, five to six bucks for five pads. For five pads, yeah. and it's it's fucking. Chatty. The lower common vape nominator will be buying them by the crates. Yeah. yeah. So. And and in fairness, though. For four, four, four fifty-five dollars, like in a vape shop, that's convenient. You can this close is, the pouch. This is how it's gonna go. Yeah, this is how it's gonna go at a vape shop. Yo, let me get the bunny rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> let me get some of that rabbit fur. Made in the USA. Sorry, Mooch. I, I wasn't I reading saw, chat. I saw some Angora rabbits uh, at the state fair last week. I'm sure. Some Did big you fuckers. them? No, they're like they had signs on their cages. Some of them that was like, if you want to keep your fingers, yeah, don't stick them in the fucking cages. No, yeah, you don't stick fingers through cages. That's just asking to have things bit. <laughs> I watched <laughs> cut them out. I watched a man describe a rabbit as everything that exemplifies a rabbit when awarding it the best in show for rabbits. And I looked at the rabbit. And I was like, it's just a fucking rabbit. <laughs> no fucking clue what this man is talking about. They all come out of a hat just the same. <laughs> well, that, and they're they're basically rats. I mean, they're, they're pure cute. Yeah, they're pure. yeah. They do have that. They're adorable. They are without when they have fur. But when they don't have fur, you look at them like masses, or like Angsty's saying, they're rats. They're, they're hideous. <laughs> they're hideous <laughs> monsters. <laughs> they're terrifying. So a, a user named Unimportant is, uh, is he stated where I was hoping somebody would go for the joke, which is I stick my fingers into a lot of things and cages are not one of them. <laughs> a wise man. Boxes or woman. Yes, boxes, not cages. Boxes. Boxes are okay. 
<laughs> where's where's the finger banging fat chicks guy? <laughs> <laughs> Can we properly introduce Jay? I mean, he's been on the show a couple of times. People should probably know who he is, but he looks a little different now, so maybe you don't recognize him. Jay, what do you do? Uh, not shit. <laughs> <laughs> I am the owner of Bigglesworth Labs, and uh, that's about it at the moment. Right on. Uh, and owner of many plaid shirts. <clears throat> and many plaid shirts. All there's blue. One, there's, there's one blue over power. there. Yeah. They're all blue. My wife gives me shit all the time. I like. I'm about to buy a new shirt, and of course, it's like got blue in it. She's like, "Got a fucking new shirt." I'll, I, I'll bring you like mad like Smuckers wrappers. Thank you. I'll make you a shirt with them. Appreciate that. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I I've uh, I was here. I was here at the beginning. I've been here, and I'll be here when everyone else is gone. Yeah, in the land before big time. Yeah, I was in the land before big time, <clears> and <throat> uh, friend of the show for a long time. You've been painting today? No, this is just like one of the best fitting shirts I have at the moment. So, I so in a, in a in a parallel universe, uh, obviously, no, actually, not parallel universe. In this universe, uh, this this was <laughs> our, our 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 buddy Jay uh, a few what years? Probably two years ago. <clears throat> uh, yeah, about maybe a little more than two years ago, but yeah. But he still looked like this. What, like six months ago? I was bigger than that. Bigger than that, yeah. So that's, that's, um, that's up there. Congratulations on the keto loss. Thank uh, you. We also we also have congratulations coming to you from someone who in here no one knows about. Um, his uh, name is uh, Vapor Jose, <laughs> and um, he has been doing a lot of keto. And um, uh, he says hi. So hi, Jose. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Welcome. So. <laughs> that, was, I'm, that was horrifying. Thank that you. was fucking creepy, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. That was really scary. Fucking creepy shit. That's, That's not, actually, not him. It's not him. Yeah, no, I know. He's a, no. he's a, he's it's a fucking Jose, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking Jose, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be. I'm, I'm looking oh, for man. the picture of me at Vape Mania with you guys. Yeah. There's, there's one. Oh, oh the yeah. picture of you with the Bigglesworth. Yeah, yeah look right. at this. <laughs> Let's see. That. Here, Mass, I'll put it in side chat. There's this one. Oh, All right. Copy image address. Yeah, there's this one where I look at that and I'm like, and with the Manuel in the background. Oh, <laughs> shit. And he's crooked, too. <laughs> Creepy <fucking> Manuel. Who <laughs> got you quick? Uh, here, uh, here you go. There's that one, which kind of shows like. That that uh, was probably uh, close to to as big as I got. <laughs> yeah. Forget about that creepy guy. Yeah, and I, here's here's another one. Yeah, look at that creepy guy. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Here's another one. Um, that's. Uh... Let me grab that. <laughs> I'm I'm really like I'm genuinely embarrassed to look at these both because I look fat as fuck and because I seem to always have something in my mouth like Dude. I can't get things out of my mouth. Dude, that yeah, button, though. Dude, those buttons, though. I know. It's brutal. I, I never wore that shirt after that. I was like, this shirt is not to be worn. This shit right here is the danger zone. Let's put it. Let's highlight it in red. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sitting right up to here to his, his left, like about two chairs over right. Yeah, you're, you're right over there. Yeah. You have to draw <laughs> arrows to the bullshit coming out of the recorder. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of great pictures from that night, but that's a particularly embarrassing one. <laughs> so yeah, since I mean, when was when was I on the show the yeah, last? Time? We got a yellow. Yeah, on the show like a month or two ago. Raul Madden, where are my where are my Jew horns? <laughs> Give me a halo. What's wrong with you? No, that's a yamaka. I can't put oh, it on your head. Oh, okay, <laughs> you reach around back there. <laughs> like, forget, no, that doesn't. Oh. That's, that's cabbage patch hair. Though. No, you got to put the dollar signs through them. That's how you, you got to send a real one. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, that's, how I, that's how I tune into the shekels. Those are antennae. I think this one here, we can have him fucking shitting some shitting some pebbles. Not back. It looks like a spring is coming out. All right, Jay gets the money at 30 frames a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unthinking so, you before we get delisted from YouTube. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, we're going to get PewDiePie'd. <laughs> we're going to get PewDiePie'd. <laughs> Hold on, can we also can we also take a look at this picture of Angsty doing his like best angsty yeah. model? 
Like yeah. not not angsty. Like actually, the term angsty model shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, Where's the like, fuck that picture come from? Excuse yeah. me. You no, know, he's got yeah. he's got you know he's got a Bobby Bobby Hill face. <laughs> he does a little bit of Bobby Hill face. That might be most oh, the most unflattering picture of me ever taken. <laughs> Declines, just remain there. That's great. I love it. Holy shit! Yeah, you got Bobby Hill face. Boy, mm. I don't know what so it is. Only but chat I, like... I couldn't say howdy to them earlier, and I was like, oh, "That's not true. I can say howdy to whoever I want." Yeah. Oh my god, it's hot in here. <clears throat> don't cultural appropriate me, bro. <laughs> hey, um, you know what? We haven't done yet. We haven't discussed uh, what Fu is vaping. <laughs> oh shit! We've been memeing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, oh, wait, we we just gotta watch Master Ross at work. Oh, is he painting on it? Roll Madison of armpits, of armpits. <laughs> of armpits. and <laughs> when <laughs> the <laughs> accent <laughs> sings out loud. <laughs> and uh, actually, to Chat's point, I no, I do not shave my armpits. That uh, my my hair is naturally it it varies between dark brown and red. Blonde. So I think I just sort of blended in over there. You can't get close <laughs> enough to really see it, but it's there. It's oh, we can get close. There. We, we, we do can, not we need can. to get close. I'm not. I'm just gonna Enhance. click on that. Enhance. We're not gonna... Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hold on, I'll click on you. Whoa! Closer. It's like whoa. Angsty. Whoa! What that's an elbow. Uh, yep. There it is. There's there. That's, that's some wisps and caution right there. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm surprised there's even people still watching. Yes. All right. Well, just to put a yeah, cap, let's not get close. Let I just see Nobody. Let me happy. just put a cap on the previous conversation then, which was last time I was on the show, I'd <laughs> lost like thirty odd pounds or something like that. Yeah. And I'm over sixty down now. Yeah. So yeah. it's like it's like the most amazing thing I've ever experienced <laughs> in my life. That's like that's like a tenth of a Maserati right there, a twentieth of a Maserati. Right. <laughs> 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 Um, it's, it's kind of cool. It's been like roughly 10 pounds a week. If you average it out or sorry. Wow. That would have been insane. 10 pounds a month. I was going to say about 10 pounds a month. Like dude, if it was 10 pounds a week, you'd look like a, what's his face? Christian Bale. Fucking fucking shit and lead. I'm only three quarters of the, I'm over three quarters of the way to my goal weight. And for anybody who thinks that, you know, you, you want to do this or whatever, I worked out a lot. So it wasn't just the diet. Like I, I started working out pretty seriously because if I'm going to be on the diet, I better freaking work out. Like I got to make the most of the time. So to to anyone who's thinking about doing anything like this and sees how I'm doing and wants to try it or something like that, I also suggest working out. It's pretty important. Well, that's that's how you you lose weight, right? I mean, that's half the equation is eating fewer calories and getting exercise and burning the ones that output you, burning over the ones that input you, exactly that's right that's really the most important thing so what i did is just a way to deal with your appetite see chris babes he agrees with me all that benjamin moore paint job see <laughs> you're looking a little tan got the benjamin moore I, yeah i am right i just came back from camping in the woods so yeah. i got a little bit of a straight farmer tan though there's like paint a lot of there's nowhere there. I got this at a yard sale for like 25 cents. It was brand new, <laughs> never used. Perfect condition. <laughs> Fucking goddamn. <laughs> in real in real life, I'm a shill for Benjamin Moore, and they're paying me for That's what I'm saying. You have the sponsorship. You didn't tell us that. I apologize. You know, we're going to ask for ours. You know, I need some. I, I beg for forgiveness, not permission. I'm a Valspar guy myself. <laughs> You're out of the I just, I, I just know that from the Home Depot ads. I don't know if that's actually good or not. Well. Pain is good. Yeah. Pain is good. Pain. Like for, for like sniffing? Like <laughs> you, you really... fan. Fan. Oh, is oh good. I was like paint? Paint paint's good for huffing, I guess. Like some people do it. <sighs> Benjamin Moore. Hey, uh <laughs> Fu, what are you favor? We were too far into this and not say that. Abolishment. Narda. Evade. Yeah. I do that. That little eBay is is so cute. Raise so, raindrops, dude. This thing is. It does work. It's good. It's really small. You know, I mentioned this when I first got it. You know, it's the only mod I can actually front pocket comfortably. Yeah. Um, it's so light. Uh, yeah, I like it. And yeah, I, uh, 
got one of these little things. We'll talk about this later. Yeah. I haven't heard you for like 30 seconds. What? What? <laughs> mumble, mumble, mumble. What? I said, I said I got one of these things. <clears throat> oh, true. I like this thing a lot. It's light. Hits like a truck. And uh, it's light. It's tiny. It's very nice. Uh, it's tidy. I like it. It's my friend. Thanks, Steve. <clears throat> um, we're we're diverting uh, this week. We're not going to be uh, featuring the old Dia because we have been vaping mostly on the Gloom from Limelight, Mechanical, MOSFET, Narda on top. We're all blacked out today um, uh, with the Narda, the Delrin, uh, or Alt, Black Ultim top cap and open tip. And we've got my other my other free hand, my wood. The wood one has got uh, Get Pissed. And that was got Rail Cracker, of course. Get Pissed, got the Haku on top, and I, I put a little whistle tip on there because I thought it looked kind of cool. Uh, so the we'll be talking about that a little bit. And uh, Abolishment and the uh, Built Lock Rib 4, exercise side. Nasty, have you vape anything tonight? Not tonight. All done. How about you, Jay? I got muscle milk in the Are box. Are you vaping it? You should be vaping it. I should be. It's delicious. I've got <clears throat> Snowdrift. In the TFV8, <laughs> my high-end vaping. That was love you. I was loving it on un- a un- <laughs> He got my Skeletor voice right. I was going for the what? <laughs> what? He got that. Good. I got uh, that wasn't lost. Uh, <laughs> DNA 250, and I have a Hex NA with Homeward, one of my own as well. <clears throat> uh, We're bound. And the whatever TFV something, some number, <laughs> little one baby. Guy. I think it's the same as this series, like as this is the eight series, but just smaller. No, it's, it's the TFV eight baby. It's good, maybe low low wattage vaping for me is this thing at fifty five wide open. Like that's what I. <laughs> I can't go as low fifty five. <laughs> yeah, fifty five, and I'm good. I any lower, and it's like eh, I start to Rain not drops. enjoy it as much. Yeah. Drop out. Yeah, I I actually avoided saying murdered out, and uh in my in my description. Thank you, chat, for pointing that out. I was I was trying to avoid that because it's a bit of a played out word. <laughs> I just think of Ja Rule every time I hear the word murder. Wow, wow. It's, stuck, it's been stuck in my head for that long. Yeah, no, murder. <laughs> That's what every is. time. Jay knows. Every, every time. Hot ninety seven. Menage! <laughs> Where is Ja? Where is Ja? Ja's busy ripping off rich white people. Woo woo! Woo woo! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, so, speaking of, um, um, I guess, rich white people, uh, Mooch has uh, <laughs> come out and said that uh, there are a lot of. Fake Samsung 25Rs. Is this what you were going to talk about, Angsty? Uh, no, go ahead. Okay. So he's got a post on Reddit right now that basically says there's been some very good fake 25Rs uh, recently popping up. Uh, I'm going to, as we talk about this, put the picture that he has uh, up on the screen so you guys can check this out. Um, and uh, it's important. So pay attention. Um, basically says, uh, thanks to some fantastic members of this community who sent their fakes in to me for testing. I have some idea what's going on. Most of the fakes are identical in appearance and perform to the 10 amp 2000 MAH Samsung 22P <clears throat> battery. This battery is a terrible performer compared to 25R. One fake was much worse than all the others. It might have been lower grade 22P or damaged. But I have one fake that uh, is different from the others, and it has a metal can code for, I believe, a Samsung 29E. But the top contact structure seems wrong for the 29E. I don't know for sure if it's fake, actually. Its performance is lousy compared to 25R. So there's some pictures. We're going to zoom in here for you so you can see the difference. See in the top one where it says the genuine 25R must have five as a second character. The rest can be anything. Okay. Now down below, the fakes have something different than a five. They have a two, or some, or a different number. And also look at the, uh, you know, the uh, laser engraving. You know, engraving on these is is different, or the laser printing. Um, and uh, 
how to detect one of the fake Samsung 24 hours posted by Mooch here. Here's another picture. Note, there can be other types of fakes out there. So there's your, um, there's your pictures and images. Now, here's the other important part of this. Um, this is what the performance of these batteries will have. The genuine green line will be your real 25R. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big difference. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it zoomed out here for for a minute. That is a big difference. Yeah, look at the sag right away from those other ones. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, right here you could see. It was like, like two, two tenths there. of a, at least two tenths of a volt. Yeah, I mean, you're almost at you know three yeah miles, yeah. That's a lot, and all the other ones started like below three fifty. Yeah, three forty. They, they just blown. Take a shit. Look at that type one face. <laughs> type one face. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. You hit it. Freaking, that's that's a that is not a straight <laughs> out wing. That is that's not that's a straight out wing. The runway. Seriously. Um. So versus your your genuine. So there you go. Um. So following this, um, there was another post. Uh, that came up and you know and everybody's asking on my twenty five hours going to blow up. You know, just check them. You know, just go through and check them. Um, there was another post that popped up, and it was from, um, ba -ba -ba -ba, was it, uh, was it an element? No, let's see who it was. Blue Dot Vapors. Blue Dot Vapors posted, and they said, potentially non-genuine Samsung 25R batteries. Uh, and uh, they're basically saying it's recently come to our attention that some of the Samsung 25R sold through our site may not have been, not have been genuine. So we received an email from a concerned customers, blah, blah, blah. So um, it appears that we have received at least one batch of rewrapped 22P cells, which do not have nearly the performance of the 25Rs. Okay, so here's what they're going to do. Uh, as we do not have in-house testing results for past batteries of these cells, batches, we do not know the full extent of this problem. But for safety's sake, we're urging our customers to carefully inspect the cells purchased from us in the past six months for authenticity. Okay, and there's a guide provided below, and that guide is done by none other than Mooch. And now that he has his uh, pictures watermarked, you can tell Pick it's Mooch. Yeah. So uh, they uh, feel that transparency is the best way to handle the situation, and uh, they're letting their customers know that if you believe that you've received non-genuine sales from them, they err you, err you, err you, err you, err you, okay? Err you. Isn't like an African tribe? Cease the use of the cell and return it to us for a full refund. So there you go. Um, Basti, something you said just keyed up Siri. <laughs> My iPad <laughs> is now saying, hey, Siri, what they're going to do if I have house testing results from past batteries and cells of the folder? <laughs> server. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> the server. Uh, and they're also saying they're getting emails from customers worried that the batteries might explode. Or be dangerous. They want to clarify that these cells are not inherently dangerous. These cells are rated for 10 amps. Continue to use as an example, and then they post the screen. So if you've gotten them from Blue Dot, kudos to Blue Dot for going. I mean, this was uh, five hours ago, six hours ago. That uh, let's see, 15 hours ago that that Mooch posted, and then uh, seven hours ago that Blue Dot posted and said, "Hey, we got some of these that went out." So good for them. Good for them. Um, hey, I so, want to address something in chat. So Chris Face just said that so the real ones start off at 3.9 volts, and they don't start off there. Start at 4.2, but this test is putting them under a 20 amp load. Right. Um, so right. that's yeah. So on a on a 20 amp drag, yeah, they definitely sag down to 3.55 <clears throat> or whatever it is. After just what's what's on the vertical axis there, Masty? Is that time? What kind of time? Uh, uh yes, yeah, quarter second. Is that what that is? Oh, that's amp hours. Amp okay. hours. That's across amp hours. Okay. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I was trying to zoom in on the top to see. Yeah. He uh, had. There you go. Constant twenty amp current on eight thirteen. So there you go. <laughs> sure, sure. Right on. Uh, speaking of things that we want to kind of give people a little caution about, um, our uh, our friend Mark Todd shared this thing, and uh, I think. Uh, oh, Phil, uh, Felipe Buscando. No, it's his brother, the guy with the YouTube channel. Um, he also talked about this, but the H Cigar DNA 75C, apparently he's suggesting just to hang off for a bit until they uh, look at something. So it looks like they're getting some hot button things going on. 
Um, the battery cap, uh, I guess not button, but the battery cap itself is getting warm in his review. And it apparently happened pretty quickly and, uh, and at pretty reasonable uh, discharge rates for the batteries. Um, so Todd is uh, <clears throat> Todd is uh, sent him a message about it, and he'll he'll post about it. I'm sure if he hears back from them. But apparently, I, I think I think Todd has historically said that uh, I'm still clicked on mast me. So you didn't even see this thing I was talking about. Nope. Like put it back up. Everything. I'm putting it back up. <clears throat> so Todd's pretty good about. Um, uh, I think he's got a good relationship with H Cigar, so I assume that he'll be uh, hearing back from them. So just watch Todd's uh, Facebook page if you want to get some updates about this. But the short version is if you happen to have one of these things, maybe just be really careful and, and watch. Be, be real you know, cognizant of what's going on. I mean, you should, do, you should be doing that anyway when you're vaping. There's been too many, uh, too many accidents. I'm going to light a grenade in my hand. Hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> Uh, well, you uh, you heard you heard about the uh, the lady in the courtroom that the battery went off, right? Uh, yes, I did. Battery, hold on, Booch just said the VT seventy five C's short circuit longer twenty six six fifties. H cigar oh, issued a warning notice. Thank you for typing in all caps, by the way, Mooch. I was I was not uh, I was going to miss that otherwise. H cigar issued a warning notice. Thank you. Holy <laughs> crap. So you know that actually does bring up bring up an interesting question, and and I mean this in in no way to be instructive. I'm just going to ask a question, and I'm going to tell you what I do. My question is: Do you unscrew your mods and take out the batteries every night before bed? No, no, but I check under my bed for the boogeyman. <laughs> Not only that, I leave my shits plugged in overnight. Get at me. No, but I do disconnect lipos. You do disconnect it, so you'll take apart really? your your, uh, your yep. reference mods and, and unplug the lipo every night. You just no, just plug them shits in. Not 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 like the reference mod and stuff like that. I'm talking about uh, either uh, PWM uh, stuff that's going to draw some power okay. over time. Because I might not use it for like uh, you know three weeks, a month. Yeah. You know. No, I'm I'm the same so. way. I could, I've got. Uh, probably at least a half a dozen mods at my left hand right now, and most of them have batteries in them, and I haven't touched most of them in weeks. Yeah, yeah, and Is and this... I always check the mod before plugging it back in or using it if it's been sitting. Yeah. Is this the mod that Todd was talking about? This guy, the seventy-five color. It says that's the seventy-five v with the big screen. VT VT seventy-five. Yes, that's the one. Yep. That's the guy. Yeah. And that's the one that I, that's the one that Moose is just saying that it can hard short longer six fifties. Mm. Interesting. I oh, have look. an eighteen six fifty in it at the moment. <laughs> look, you're help you're helping already, Mooch. <laughs> well, you know, I'm I'm wondering, Mooch, is it because it's bending the the battery pin down? Is that why it's why they're shorting? You know, the pressure of the longer battery. We'll wait for him to respond. I don't know what the delay is in chat and YouTube. Probably what six seconds still. Yeah, it's probably several seconds at least. Um, probably this is the, this is the bottom cap. If you want to, oh, shit. Wrong, wrong well, I'm 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 more concerned about the top part, like what the top part is doing. You know, because back in the day, those K100s and shit, people would put batteries in there and just mm, crank, oh, and crank and crank and crank them. The pin, the pin was sharp. Ooh, too. Yeah, it's just a straight up pin. It's huh. it's um it's on a spring. Mm. Yeah. So, but the shape of the pin doesn't look great, and it's got. It feels like it's got a rubber gasket around it. Can it wiggle Something. this way? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm wondering. I'm wondering. I, I need I'm a wondering. tweezer to be able to find out the answer to that question. I'm wondering if the pin. I'm wondering if the pin can go like this and then hard short. Let's see. Yeah. Or or if it or if it going. cranks off to the side a little bit and hits right, right. above the insulator. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Mooch is paying attention. <clears throat> um. Yes. Um. So it looks like Motherhead says that he uh, he unscrews his Addy or takes them out of his MOSFET mods. Um. I don't. Now I I don't ever charge my 650s or my batteries. I don't ever charge my batteries unattended. Like uh, I have done it before on accident, but I can count on my fingers the number of times I've ever done that. Um. You know, I'll stick them in here and, and leave, but. But I know I just never take them out of my devices. I just don't. Neither do I. And uh, 
No give, Mast. I do charge shit overnight on the Noid. Okay. Get at me, bro. I charge shit overnight. I pretty much only do it with my Evolve devices. I only... I don't trust anything really else. At the very least, I can call somebody over there and be like, you motherfuckers burned down my house. <laughs> you burned down my house. <laughs> it's like, yeah, good, good luck calling with homeowner's <laughs> insurance payout. Yeah, I also have a lot of... I have a lot of faith in their the products from them that I use. So yeah, well, I mean, and I do this too. is a lipo. I, I do, I do really love uh, my evolved boards. There's no doubt about it. But at the same time, there you can't uh, you can't uh, discount the modder themselves. That's true. That because I've paid quite a bit of money for certain squonking mods that uh, that totally discharge batteries down to zero point zero volts before. That's um, ridiculous. That because it because it, it had a bad it had a bad ground wire connection to the board. For what it's yeah. worth, I only do that. Both of these mods were made by friends of mine, so I only really do that with that kind of stuff. That, that H cigar. Who do you know in H cigar? I don't use that, oh. and I'm not charging it overnight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's got no Addy on it. It's just sitting here, and I'm like, is this the thing you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it beeping? Why is yeah, it beeping like faster. <laughs> why is it telling? Why is it, why is it counting down from thirty seconds? I don't know. Why is there Arabic on the screen? Yeah, <laughs> I've seen some of the things you can do with the color uh, for like images and shit, and some of them are pretty fucking funny. Yep, you could get Arabic all over the screen. So yeah, I I do that basically with just these like mods from people who I like have their phone numbers and could just drop in on them. If I were so inclined, <laughs> maybe <Yeah>. that's, <laughs> you know, maybe that plays a role. Cause otherwise I will leave my batteries plugged in overnight. I'll do that. Like I'll throw a couple batteries in a charger and leave them on. I'll leave them in there for days sometimes. And you're not supposed to, but yeah, I don't care. I was just curious. Much. It was just, that's something that, that has cropped up a couple of times lately that, you know, we've always been on and on about about safety on all yeah. different kinds of things, well, and we should be safe with things. I, and then I realized that that's something that I just that particular thing, which is taking batteries. I, I just don't do that. I, the yeah. batteries stay up. But legit, the last time I was ever legitimately spooked about my house catching fire was when I was using <coughs> Ego batteries because I knew how cheap those fucking chargers were. I knew how cheap those batteries were, even though even even though it was like a it was a Smoke Tech Ego, like Smoke Tech, you know, still made dope shit. Yeah. Um, and then I heard, and then I had the charger. I'm just like, yeah. I've had, I've had those things be weird on many. Yeah, exa exactly. Many. So my, my ego batteries and the chargers have been strange. Like I never really had, you know, I never had any, I've had charge ports break on my, I had one charge port break on the poncho box and that was pretty much it. Like I never really had, Oh wait, there was that mod that auto fired. Oh, <laughs> Luke said his auto firing is different. Weird. Masty. Hard to understand explanation. Maybe pressure plus heat equals melting a bit and shorting. Others say over depressed top pin allows fatter top contact to short. Thankfully, mm -hmm. thankfully, I was home when I was. I literally yeah. just came home when the mods. Yeah, I was gonna say because man, I remember, I remember pulling batteries out of people's mods and they were just fucking smashed. Like I'm yeah. like, what are you doing to this thing? How did you even some, do some this? Say, some some say they would just crank on it. Some would say, oh, I I, I dropped it. And Dude, it lasted through. So. When I worked when I worked at Henley, um, mm -hmm. there was a guy who got pissed off because he had a Manhattan. He wasn't like a very experienced vapor. Like whoever sold the mod from the shop sold a Manhattan in a fucking like, gold tugboat and blah, you know. So she wrote, but the guy at the same time, the guy wasn't a complete moron. He was just sold a device he didn't really know the full workings of because you remember the V1 Manhattan contacts. You had to press those in very meticulously to your Addy. There wasn't a precise yeah. way of adjusting it. Yeah, the pin wasn't in right. He so when he'd screw his his uh his bottom cap on, it was denting the shit out of his positive. Yep, like pushing it in. Both of his batteries are fucked. He wouldn't, he like got tight when I wouldn't give him his batteries back and like offer to give him. I mean, there were Sony batteries and we were sold out. So I offered him like four of another battery that were also good. And uh, yeah, he got very tight about it. I think it's because he couldn't vape right then and there. He had a charge battery to give him. But yeah, people he do dumb shit sometimes. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, we're talking about vaping sometimes. Holy shit. Look out. Yeah. Uh... Actually, I actually have a tiny bit of vape news. 
Ooh. What else? I dropped my mod. <laughs> Knock it over. Ooh. What else? So yeah, um, this guy named Angsty, he uh, was so gracious to order order a uh, mod a refill kit for Mod Maker for me. Went over it this past week. It showed up. He also sent me one of those Italian refill bottles. I haven't gotten to using that yet because it's abolishment. <laughs> um, so got to using this thing, and uh, you know, late to the party, but I am smitten. It's good. It's good, it's isn't it? Very nice. Very nice. It, and it's not. It's not really tedious. There's just a little tiny process that you have to do to do it. Okay, I'm about half. Is that the, the squonk bottle refiller? Yeah. yeah so it's neat. Yeah. So for those of you who uh, don't have one, thought about getting one, who are like, oh, I think it's Shut the fuck up. Wrecked. <laughs> it's much for me. I hate having to take out my bottle. Have to deal with all kinds of abolishment pre-cum all over my hands, so why not just expedite? Have you demonstrated the mod maker yet, or did you do only do that with the Italian one? I think I, I think I may have taken somebody through, but that was a month or two ago. I got you clicked. Sometimes it's a bit of a cunt to uh, catch on this five tone thread, but whatever. Uh, thug life. And then you just upside down. And thanks to you instructed me. You squeeze Mast, it you got to play the music from uh, Interstellar while he does this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so once you clear out the one in the bottle, you squeeze in. Oh. Let it go. Let it it's go. Like magic. Okay, a little bit of traffic. Squeeze it out again. <laughs> it's a bit of congestion. <laughs> hey, there oh. you go. All right, so it's just about there. Fuck it. <laughs> That's neat. But, uh, now watch this. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Dude, that's why dad used to do that when I was a kid. Unleash the doves on him, Masty. <laughs> Dove. <Wow. laughs> my dad, wait, uh, there's a song that goes with it, too. Yeah, uh, I think Mast knows what it is. So now I have a new way. Now I have a new way. Not the ducks, the doves. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Mega faggot. <laughs> I don't want either. <laughs> I need to label these things right. Timestamp. <laughs> because they are not timestamp for the UK show. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, boy. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, yes. I love you. Uh, Al, I'm just hollered at you in chat. We do have insulation on the tip, like that. Yes. There's also a little ring that you put on the very top rung of the bottle, I believe. Top thread. There's like a little like plastic or rubber ring that comes with it, too. I don't know if I was supposed to put it on there, but I did. Someone's yeah. asking, does it work with the Fat Daddy Vapes 510s? They know people have been experiencing issues with the Italian ones and refilling. Um, ah. I think the if if I'm right and, and my my assumption is correct on the Fat Daddy Five uh, Tens, the problem with the original here, we can look at. I got I actually have some perfect examples. We will zoom up, <clears throat> close ups. Zoom, 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 and you zoom, boom, zoom, boom. zoom. All right, so here's the original, uh, the original uh, guy from from the Italian guys, and there's like a million fucking threads on here, and the problem is is that. 510 is actually really long. All the threads, and there's a lot of threads. There's a lot of uh, blank space on top and bottom. Yeah. And the original uh, the original Limelight Freehands, um, the 510, which is a custom 510 on there, this actually will, if you screwed it all the way down, it actually would over-compress the positive pin and end up breaking that 510. Or not necessarily breaking it, but it would the, the pin would go down and then get kind of get caught off to the side. It could, it could move around because it was over-depressed. Um, so one of the things that Dayon did immediately uh, from Limelight and get this one out was he released these little collars uh, and there's just, it's just a simple little Delrin collar and all it did is stop stop it from being screwed in too far. Mm. 
Um, so that was like a, a good, you know, kind of a quickie solution to make sure people didn't uh, mess these up. Now, the newer ones, uh, the uh, the mod maker ones, the 510 is uh, is much shorter, uh, much more like I would consider like a normal length. You see how short sure that is. And as Ahmed said, it's insulated, so you don't fucking short out your shit. Um, which, by the way, I did test on the uh, on the Italian ones, and I did it on a DNA device, and you hit it, and it does say shorted. Um, so I did not try it on a mech mod because I'm not retarded. Uh, but <laughs> don't don't do that. Uh, but anyway, the mod maker ones are definitely insulated, which is really cool. Uh, and the new uh, the new Limelight 510, the piezo piezo. I don't know how to mm-hmm. say it. <clears throat> um, piezo. The the new piezos are are have been redesigned, and that that does not happen to them anymore, regardless. But if you've got if you've got a Limelight that says says piezo on top. Irregardless. Should, no, don't say irregardless. That's like the worst word. Irregardless. irregardless. I, hate, I hate that word. It is Please be concordantly. That's just what I said. Irregardless. The people that use it should be embarrassed. <laughs> <clears throat> You're double negativing yourself. You don't need You're a negative, negative prefix negative. and a suffix on a stupid word. Oh, um, boy. So, yeah. You're giving me a lot of turbulence right now, Anxie. That's <laughs> a lot of turbulence, that's right. Um, a lot of turbulence. <laughs> so I think, I think that answers your question uh, about the Fat Daddy one, because I assume that's probably what you're talking about. I, I imagine that those guys are probably too long for that Fat Daddy one as well, and that probably wrecks it. <sighs> Correct. So pretty much shoot back together. That's a cool gizmo. I like that thing. It's cool. It's super convenient. I mean... Yeah, I should imagine. It's super convenient. <clears throat> I've been using the crap out of one for a long time, and then the mod maker one's only better. Because obviously it's smaller, and you can use the, I think it's the Heartland bottles that we uh, that most of us use for a long oh, time. Oh, is that what that is? Just the Heartland bottle? Even world, yeah. world unicorns that I love. That's, that he designed, this is really what you're buying. Like this I mean, you one? Get, you get like this... a whole pack of stuff. But oh, look this... at that. It's like a metal cap for a Heartland. Yeah. yeah that's exactly what it is. And with a 510. That's amazing. that's amazing. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's the nice thing because when I drip, it's the same kind of thing. Like I'll use this 30 with the 120 and then I'll chuck it. Mm-hmm. Kind of the same concept. Like I don't have to, I don't have to use a refill bottle for too long. It's great. So it's just really the piece. That's all it is. That's that's yeah. That's where all the genius is right here. That's good. I like the um, knurling too. There, the knurling there's a second part of the tool. genius though, because in that in the pack that you get, and I've Place mine somewhere else. It's not handy. Um, but inside the pack, not only do you get a, a, a squatty 30 mil, you get the unicorn one too, like like Med has there. But uh, the other thing you get is he implemented one of my ideas that I had originally for the Italian one, which is making this into a siphon bottle. So that way, you, when you screwed it on, you don't have to do this little business. Um, you just put it up one way and you squeeze the air out up and squeeze the juice up as opposed hmm. to doing this little business. Uh, but he's got the pieces in the pack for you to do that optionally, and that's where that little gasket goes. Ahmed um, is when you're fitting that that siphon tube, I think. <sighs> um, da one is a cheap option. Works spares good. Haven't tried them yet. I haven't seen one of those for sale yet. Sarcastic Baber, um, but I've seen them around. I just haven't tried one yet. Uh, Ken Hartman said it doesn't have the insulator either, which is sad. Why, how hard is that? Come on, you got it. When you're screwing something into a thing that's made to deliver power, you should probably insulate it. That's all I'm saying. It's a good idea. Especially with all these people using these mech boxes these days. Come on. <clears throat> Those things aren't gonna aren't gonna help themselves. Um I speaking of squonking though, uh Fu, did you finish your thought there? Uh, did you have anything else for that? Well, it's nice, it's cool. Yeah, it's convenient. It's, it's nothing fancy, it's just convenient. Uh, if you wanted one of these things, by the way, they're at modmaker.co.uk. Duro said he's not buying the system. He'll stick to an a box mod, Kate. Okay, thanks. Wrecked. There Way to go. make it about you. You tell him, Duro. Don't take anybody's <laughs> shit. You're our, you're our priority to recommend products, too. <laughs> if you get one, you should buy one because Rick's a cool guy, uh, and he runs Modmaker. So there you go. And Sons of Anarchy UK. Riding through this world. Sunken <laughs> mod. Squawking mods. <laughs> Gonna get this burl. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Um, so the thing that I was going to also mention today is you notice that I didn't list the Dia as my as my top device like I do like for the last year. Um, and I didn't do that for a particular reason. Um, I did that because of this thing. Uh, this freaking mech. This is hard for me to say. This is hard for me to admit to the camera. So give me a minute. I have probably vaped this particular device <laughs> with this addy on top and no regulating board inside of it for probably 90% of my vaping this last week. Mother of God. First, Sean leaves the show and Angsty likes Mexicans. <laughs> Cut it. Cut, quick, cut it. That's going to get That's going to get us. I got you. I got you. <clears throat> so gotcha. uh, this, not only, I I really, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, my Walnut Freehand. I, this thing shocked me, and, I, and my review of it was, this thing is so damn good, it makes up for the fact that it's a mech, right? That was my, that was my review of this thing. The Gloom, and not necessarily the Gloom necessarily, but the fact that the MOSFET upgraded here, it makes this a really nice mod, like a really nice mod. I have thoroughly enjoyed using this. Now you do have to, for whatever reason, the freehands tend to do best uh, building about a half a gnome lower, not a half a gnome, a tenth of a gnome, half a tenth of a gnome, 0 0.05 ohms less um, than you normally would uh, for whatever reason. And I think the reason is because you do get a little voltage drop off on the, on the, the MOSFET a little. It's just enough to where it's I, I like to build it at like a point four, uh, and and that was what William's suggestion was, and that I went with it, and that's that's the way forward. <sighs> so fucking unregulated works like a champ. I vape this thing until I'm not happy with the vape that I'm getting out of it, and I pulled the Sony five uh, A out of it, and it's sitting at like three point five volts, three point six volts. Tell me that doesn't make your Dia feel heavy. And, and that's, well, that's the big thing. That's why I liked this one is because I, I joked, not joked, but I, I stated that I can, this is the first setup that I've been happy with that I can throw in a pocket and forget it's there because it's so small, it's so light. Um, and this is only more so because it's, it's synthetic instead of wood. Um, and yeah, you're right, Ahmed, it's, it's, it's so freaking light. When I pick up the Dia now, it's like, it's like picking up the, the Hellfire uh, when Shadow. I go, when I go eBay to Limo, how much I love the Limo and I love that DNA vape. I'm just like, this shit's like, I can't run with this in my pocket. Like, I remember last time yeah. I had to the limo to work, I had to, like, run to catch the subway, and my pants were coming down. Yeah. You're not quite a belt tightener. It was like a forced belt situation. Yeah, you just um, got to be cognizant of it, right? You got to run just right to keep the belt up. <laughs> or just I wanted to I'll run. Like I wanted to show. Uh, Mooch, Mooch sent the, sent me the picture of the, uh, the actual press release uh, from earlier. So. Oh, cool. There it is, right there. The, VT, the VT75C. So there's the whole uh, the whole write-up about the uh, the size of the 26650s and what's happening with them. So please, client, please, client, kindly do not use any damaged battery on your mod. They're saying that they're offering up to a three-year warranty on any defectiveness of the device, and so I'm not sure look, how they're going to look at that shit. That's that's really nice to see out of a out of a Chinese uh, that's company. Good. Sincerely, we are very appreciative of customer support and trust of our yep. products over the years. We oh. will put an end to this all, all kind of problems that are problems in the future. I like that. That's nice. Yeah. That's well, cool. you know, it, 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 uh, in a sense, it doesn't surprise me because it's H Cigar and they're a licensed Evolve manufacturer. That's right. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's like, sell a lot so of mods this, this back to America. That they're, that they're demonstrating that they do run a tight. They're going to tight uh, well, Daryl's saying good luck trying to get that warranty. That's probably true straight from them, but I, I would I would assume, and this is an assumption on my part, but I would assume their distributors here in the States would be who you'd go through. You wouldn't that's be exactly. shipping back yeah, to China. That's, that's that would exactly be very, right. very, very time and cost inefficient to do that. Yeah. Yeah. What will happen is, is the distributors will get a crate full of brand new mods, and they'll just tell everybody, mm -hmm. return them. You'll yeah. get a new one from your distributor. Done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so just to finish this thing off, the 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 fact that I no longer have to worry about you know making sure my mech you know uh, connections are perfectly clean, and that click, that teeny tiny little click, makes me know when it's fired. I don't have to make sure I'm pressing hard enough. Like it, 
it's like this like halfway point between regulated and unregulated for me that really has made this just a joy to use. The weird thing about this is, as I was I was thinking about what you were talking about earlier, Fu, about how much heavier that it is, uh, the the Dia is than it, and that's true. And I was also thinking about how small this is because it really is. Yeah. I mean, it's a tiny little mod. The Dia, the Dia is light for for probably one of the lighter regulated squads. It is, but the, I was thinking size too. Yeah. So I was like, well, this thing's, it feels a lot smaller and lighter, but it's really not. Like I was holding them up next to each other. It's almost the same size. Curves, the difference is, is the curves, baby. Curves. curves. This thing feels like a small mod because it fits. Curvy, baby. Oh, yeah. Lobotomy Sarge. <sighs> Lobotomy Sarge. <laughs> That's what does it. That's what does it. And, and I have noticed something I noticed when I first got it out is it felt almost uh, velvety. Like it had this really interesting mm, sort of soft sort of velvet. feeling, but now that I've used it for a little while and used it hard this last week, <clears throat> um, now it's down greasy to mitts. Yeah, it my greasy mitts. Yeah, greasy mitts. I think there's another one too. Bottomy Sarge. <laughs> now it's like a uh, like a soft, like almost a rubbery feel. Um, it's it's a. That plus the curves. They're asking. They're asking for the porn music. Yeah. Uh, here, here, I got to. <laughs> this is like fucking the channel fourteen. Yeah. The channel guy. Well, join us tomorrow when we're going off the after we're going off the air. Cease and desist by Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> um, or maybe he was asking for the Barry White. <clears throat> Didn't we have Marvin yeah, Barry White queued up at some point? I got my mouse uh, head back. No, <laughs> what he's probably asking for is uh, my mind's telling me no. There you go. That's probably yes. <laughs> but my body, but this mouse head, this mouse head, and this chicken and all tits. The bottom line is. If you have the means, spaghetti. I highly suggest <laughs> picking one up. Uh, it is it's really really good. And by the way, this thing uh, my my walnut came back after being upgraded too, and it was looking like kind of light and like a little dry. And now that I've been using it this last week, the uh, I got the angsty finger oils back over it. <laughs> it's like, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now it's, it's looking you got all that burl, all that burl. Not it's not burl, but all the the figuring of the woods coming out again. A and burl. It looks so good. It looks so good. Um, Gently coated in a in a thin film of Diet Coke and abolish mint leavering to just, you know, accumulate. Texas, this Texas sweat. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly you know, right. It's covered in BG and parts. There you go. I actually like that one. Yeah. Um, and well, and and also to be fair, this has been this has made its trip. This is the village bicycle one because this has been up to Sean <laughs> oh and other people too. Uh, did I send this to you? <laughs> No, I sent it to Kyle. That's I, I think I sent it to, to Kyle, and Med hasn't had it yet. Should I send this to you, Med? Would you enjoy using this? Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, it's, got the, moth, it's got a Mothfet. Like. It's got a Mothfet. And this Mothfet actually is slightly clickier. Like ever so slightly it. clickier than the other one, too, Ooh, which is nice. I take right now, so I, love, you know, I like it. Anyway. Um, if you're not in the limelight group, you should go. You should go join it. Uh, they do. If you're interested in one of these, by the way, um, Dayan runs lists every week uh, for like 25 glooms, I think, every single week. And he, it's not X1 or F5 wars or whatever. You sign up, he randomizes the list. Uh, it's pretty easy to get one. Um, and if you want, if you want the wood ones, I think they sell them just whenever you want. So what, if you what did you sell them one. for? How many quid? Uh, they are in U.S. dollars. Surprisingly okay. enough, uh, the walnut ones are, if I remember right, they're two sixty. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, Amadovar, that's, the, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad, I and mean, it's definitely not a cheap mod. But oh, and the MOSFET upgrade is thirty bucks. Hmm. Um, same with these. The gloom, I think, is three hundred, and you and you add a MOSFET for three thirty total, three thirty, and that's shipped like super fast shipping from Serbia. Is he making um, to your house? house? What? Does he make wood glooms? Does he make liver tunes? No, wood glooms. Wood, he does not make wood. Well, that's what these are. These liver are liver tunes. Mod. It's the same mod. It's just well, this one's which wood one and that one's Will. <laughs> Will has. He's got the light one, right? Yeah, he. Oh, well, Will's got like three or four. He's got two glooms and a stabilized one and a walnut one. 
I had a gloom in my Pokemon Blue. It was pretty gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> that, but that's right. That the Dayon really is the best model. The other thing that you get with that two 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 sixty or three hundred dollars is a lifetime guarantee. So if it that's if it dang. ever breaks, he just fixes it. <laughs> is it Live Light is best mod? Will has five. <laughs> <laughs> It's good guts. It's got limelight guts. And it's made by hand in Serbia by a really yeah, cool so you get a really limelight cool guy. You get served. You get served. That's right. For free. That's free. Yeah, that's no upgrade for that. Oh, yeah. And I didn't say you get to pick your 510 too. You can have a 24 millimeter flat or a 22 millimeter cup. And that's free, mm. whichever one you want. And I think you get to pick your logo color on the gloom. If you go to gloom, you can get white, red, green, black, gray, all kinds of whatever. Everything else is everything else is the same, and they sell the the little uh, bog rat if you wanted a bog rat for it, um, which works pretty well too. I don't know how much that is. I like to do bog rat stuff. Where do you spend my money? Uh, you go to the limelight group and you say, "Give me a free hand, please." Um, and one of their weekly, it's every Monday. He runs the the gloom list. Um, they you, I think you do have to be added. Uh, I think you have to be vouched by somebody. But there's a lot of people in there. I'm sure somebody <laughs> added you. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> Good me. luck, fuckers. Yeah, don't message me. <laughs> but there's a lot of people that get you in there, I'm sure. Wait, you can re you can resurrect the old plumes uh, request to join thread. There you go. There you go. Nice. Yeah, join join the landlay group. Don't ask me for vouch though. Fuck you. Will you vouch for me? <laughs> Thanks, hey, it just it just fits in <clears throat> with the the hashtag. No, you can't have one. Um, Got him. I still need to send that back to Masty. I've been meaning to do that for months. Mm. Masty's like, what? I didn't make that. <laughs> I returned my, my big bully DNA 250 to Dog Mods this past week. When <laughs> I saw him in person, I handed it over to him. I've I've put that thing through Hell. two years of charge cycles every day. Yeah. <laughs> Increíble. Increíble. So it, it stopped charging all the way to full. And you know that thing is like a 9,000 ma gigantic triple battery guy yeah. in a 250. Yeah. And it, putting the 250 in there made a huge difference. But it would just get to like, I don't know, 85% full on the battery and not go any higher. And I was like, you know, maybe it's time to bring it back to, to dog mods. Yeah. And, Maybe I should stop right. doing this. Yeah. He's going he's gonna to take those screws off and it's just going to pop like an airbag. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure Poppy you warn him about of... that. Open away from <laughs> face. Yeah, I told him. It's, it's gonna be the 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 lipo is gonna be perfectly shaped to the inside of the box. <laughs> Fucking board and everything. There's only lipos now. Yeah. Should, should we talk about We're this last thing? Now. What's that, Nixie? The thing that uh, that that old host that used to be here that came in. He was mentioning this. Man, if he wants to talk about that shit, he can talk about it himself. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a, the problem is, is it's very plumsy to talk about. That's that's my right. with it. So uh, let's I'm, let, let's talk about it. I'm just gonna put it here. So this this was this was posted up on uh, on our friend Omboy OC's page. Uh, he and and Grimming have put out a new RDA, but they're not releasing pictures of it. You have to pre-order it and just buy. So it. that's that's the only issue that I have is a fucking pre-order. Right. That's what that's what's plumsy about it. That's why I wanted to bring it up. So. So not only is it a pre-order, it's a pre-order for something you haven't even seen. I I will happily I really argue hope. in favor. So you tell me what you want me to tell you is right about it that you think is wrong. Uh, pre well, I, I hope I hope that I hope that they're not showing pictures to try to not have somebody copy them and beat them to market because then you better be making it here in the U S at a private shop done. I so, do agree so. with that. I, I absolutely agree with that. If they are trying I hope, to, I hope, that, I hope that that's not the drive behind it is, is I hope that it's the drive behind it is not, we're going to do our best to keep our shit from getting cloned. If you're going to go this far to make that post and, and, and have it to where nothing is going to be shown and needs to be a pre-order. I really hope that you haven't it made in the U.S. in a private shop. I don't Done. know that that's the case, but I do know that their first one was not. It was made overseas. 
Well, which is how they kept the price I, down. And there's nothing wrong. And, and again, there's nothing no, wrong. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong. But there is something wrong when you go to the extent that you're going to, if that's why they're doing it. Again, by not showing any pictures, by not talking about it, by just do a pre order just to try to keep from somebody getting the upper hand on it, you know, getting the jump on it. So, because I can tell you right now, if you got that shit overseas, <laughs> it does not matter. Yeah. So. Well, that's I mean, kind of my thinking as well. It's a fun little publicity stunt. Good, Jay. What? If you've already got it overseas, you're not probably actually going to stop anything from getting cloned. Not taking pictures of it is not going to stop it from getting cloned. Right. Again, if the, if that's why they're doing it, right? We yeah. could be completely off base here and. If they, they have, if, if they have exciting hype thing, which is fine. If they have, it, I'm not. I'm less. I, I'm less concerned about it being America than it just being China, not being not China, right? Like, because then you're oh, just yeah. you're just not making any sense. But if you, you know, yeah. your guy in Serbia apparently makes great devices. If they go and work with a you know team they like somewhere else, I have no problem with that. I could no. if it was America too, but you know that's okay with me. I and if they are actually going to this extent to do it, I think then fine. If they want to take a pre-order, look, these are guys in the industry with, with reputations. You know what I mean? Yeah. People mm -hmm. know them, know their faces, and whether they agree with all of their recommendations or not, if they are doing, this is them selling a product. Yeah. It, you know, they're saying, we're putting our reputations on the line. If you liked <laughs> what we did with the last thing, here's how we're going to do this thing. And yeah. so if you don't like it, you're going to lambaste us. Like, what am I going to do? Lamb is, is it lambast or lambaste? You're going to get a bigger bus out bowl. I was actually corrected recently. Apparently, it's lambaste. I think you said it right. Uh, it sounds lamb -based, like a, like turkey lambaste. Yeah, or lambasting yeah. a lamb. Yeah, it's, like, it's weird. So I, I agree with you, by the way. And, and again, I don't have a problem with where it's being made. I don't have a problem because the last one was very reasonably priced. Um, I, I don't have a problem with any of that stuff. The only, the only problem is, is it's a pre-order. And personally, I would never... And I, when I say never, I mean never buy an Addy up front without seeing the deck first or the airframe. Mm -hmm. Would mm -hmm. never do it. That's mm -hmm. that's not something I'm even close uh, to interested here's, here's in. Would you buy thing. a mod site unseen? Not without at least seeing what it's going to look like. You know, maybe I haven't seen my block. Okay, fine, until it's like being cut or something. Yeah, maybe. yeah, but you ultimately know what it's going to look like. You know what the important features are going to be, and that's the same as seeing the deck of an atomizer, I'm right? Like, guess. Right. Yeah, a two-post deck. Okay. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, Big juice well. Well, what are they charging for it? That's another important question. Have they said is? Uh, I I'm, I'm so. well. If they're pre-ordering, I guess you have to know. Probably fifty. Or 60 I don't know what. Guess. Is. What was the other one? Was like sixty bucks? It was like sixty or it was sixty to sixty-five. I think at most. Yeah. So, so I mean, the they're, they're doing a pre-order. Maybe it's gonna be between forty and fifty-five. Maybe. They're not charging over a hundred dollars for it. You're you're saying it's an Addy that you may or may not like, but this is how we're selling it. I don't know. It's forty or well, fifty let, let, bucks. Let's read it. It says it says if you, um, let's say it, here's what to expect: a bigger build deck with more room than the back seat of a Cadillac. The Rebel deck is tits and designed to accommodate something that no one's ever attempted. Two top caps included. The other one was too. The V1. They had both and, caps. And an AFC adjustable cap with four by three millimeter holes on each side. Um, All recoil and rebel tips are compatible. See, guys, that's cool too. It is cool. Yeah. Check it out. So someone said yeah, in chat can... that there's already a V2 on Fast Tech. Oh, oh boy. It is. <laughs> But we yeah. don't know that that's actually like the V2. There was like 18 versions of the Orchid on Fast Tech too, right? Well, there's no such thing as that recoil V2. Is, is that angled? It the Rebel, right? I'm not clicked on that. Is that angled? Are those holes angled down? Those. Uh, this looks like the V1 deck. They, they do are. look like they're angled yeah. down. No, yeah, no, they are. The V1 air hole is... I think this is just a V1. It looks like that, a V1 yeah. to me. Yeah. yeah, this looks like a V1. What the fuck? <clears throat> yeah. So, old. I got, I got hosed, Tommy. If somebody else said that the pre-order was a dollar. If it's a dollar, that's fine. I don't, well, I don't give a shit about a dollar. That's fine. That doesn't make any sense at all. Apparently, the V2 was a version China made without their input. They didn't really seem to change a whole hell of a lot. <laughs> no. Nick, Dwayne, make your money, honeys. You yes. go, girls. <laughs> that's right. Don't I... listen to the haters. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. I got, we, we got... got, we got, we got... 
yeah, we got nothing but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Love for you. Yeah. But where's the horse shit? Come on. Come on, Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't pre orders in are... a long time. Horse shit. Horse shit. Yeah. There he is. Pre orders are. Horse shit. Horse shit. No, I'm not your puppet. <laughs> 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 all right. Um, is that it? Is that all we got going on? I think so. I feel like we've been we we got a good show out of this tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good times. Right, a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, thanks uh, to Mooch for sending in those uh, pictures and <coughs> doing the write up about those batteries. Hope you get and taken on everybody. and taken on Bugs Bunny himself. <laughs> uh, Mooch, you <laughs> are the light. At the end of the tunnel, I almost said torch, but that's apparently bad to say now. So you are the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> you are the tiki torch uh, at my white nationalist <laughs> rally. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> and you know it's true because you heard it from this you guy. You are the wind okay? beneath the iron eagle. You light up a torch. Oh, <laughs> Jay, you're the you're the wind beneath my iron eagle's wings. <laughs> All right. It was All fun. Right, Thanks for having me. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for coming guys. on, Jay. Thanks for everybody coming out. It's always a pleasure. Have a great week. See you Wednesday at Morty's. Yeah. Okay. Manuel. Month.